ranked number five in the world at lightweight, taking on the 29-year-old Brandon Thatch. Yes, it is 5'9 versus 6'2, and Brandon Thatch will have the four and a half inch reach advantage. To get us started for the main event, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Colorado State Boxing Commission, Director Joseph Mason, Chairman William Artis, Vice Chairman Raymond Garcia, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Sal Diamato, Glenn Trowbridge, and Tony Weeks. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. Now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, live from Broomfield, Colorado, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walter Wake Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record, 11 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Brandon Rutgers! Fouch! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 21 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, presenting the former WEC lightweight champion and the former UFC lightweight champion, Smooth Benson. All right, gentlemen, we've already been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Let's keep this fight clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. We are ready to go. So much intrigue surrounding this main event. Benson Henderson stepping up in a big way to save this Colorado card and make it his welterweight debut tonight. Cool. Against the very dangerous Brandon Thatch. It is Benson Henderson in the white trunks and Thatch in the black. I asked Thatch if he's always going to be that aggressive and if he's in that, if he is that aggressive in the gym every day. And he said, absolutely not. He said, you know, eventually when I fight certain guys, I'm going to have to slow down a little bit and be a little bit more tactical. He doesn't necessarily mean to be that aggressive. It's just something he sees when he starts the fight. We'll see if he does so against Ben Henderson. And the size discrepancy doesn't look nearly as pronounced as it did at the weigh-in yesterday. Henderson, a southpaw, Brandon Thatch will switch stances consistently. Well, the big thing are the knees of Brandon Thatch. Ben Henderson likes some unorthodox strikes. He likes to jab at your thighs sometimes. He's got to be careful doing that. Thatch times his knees very well, and Benson can duck right into one. Don't forget, Fox Sports Live follows us here on Fox Sports 1. Highlights and analysis from the action here in Colorado, as well as everything else in the world of sports. Benson Henderson able to rip the body there. The last several fights for Benson, he's been a, a, a big-time counter-striker when he gets off first. It's usually with leg kicks. One of the things I see when I break down the tape is he leaps into a lot of his combinations. Sometimes telegraphs him a little bit. We'll see if he cleans that up tonight. Thatch able to go to the body there with great effect. And you can see there as he leaps in with that right hook. Thatch, on the other hand, sometimes will throw kicks without setting them up with his hands at all. That could lead to a kick caught in a takedown for Benson Henderson, who landed a couple nice kicks of his own. Yeah, Henderson very aggressive here in the early going. Brandon Thatch had three minutes and 33 seconds of UFC experience coming in. Oh, big body shot by Henderson. Very nice. And you can see, you know, in the lightweight division, when Benson maybe leaps in, sometimes that's tough in that division because of the speed. But yeah. here, he's the faster guy, and it works for him. What a beautiful body kick there from Thatch. And now Thatch follows up with a big right hand. 
Power shots landing on both sides through a furiously paced first two minutes. I asked Ben Henderson about his advantage on the mat, being that he's a very good black belt, and that did concern the coaches of Brandon Thatch. They didn't want to mess around on the floor too much with Ben Henderson. Henderson said, look, I don't feel like I need to get a takedown to win this fight. I feel like I'm comfortable striking with anybody. We'll see if he makes any adjustments and looks for a takedown later in this fight. Henderson able to ground Thatch there with a front kick. And it looked like Thatch was going to set up a barrage there, and Henderson was able to use that front kick and stop the momentum nicely. Thatch able to land upstairs. But certainly some good early signs for Benson Henderson making that welterweight debut. He is, you know, I wondered about the poise of Brandon Thatch being in his backyard in his hometown. You could see it in his eyes. This kid is just naturally very comfortable in this environment. In fact, during his debut, when Buffer was announcing his name, he actually yelled at him and said, hey, do you remember me? I told you you'd be calling my name in this octagon. <laughs> Brandon Thatch advancing 53% of the time thus far. No surprise there with the aggression that we've come to see as normal from Brandon Thatch. And again, Ben Henderson working the body. Again, Henderson able to rich, rip the body. Thatch fires back. Thatch again to the body. Just ultra, aggra ultra aggressive, constant forward movement. But his feet are always in place to throw these vicious kicks. A nice flying knee, and again follows it up with a kick. And you wonder if that kick upstairs stunned Henderson briefly. Well, he demonstrates exactly what I talked about. This kid, when you break down the tape, watch all of his fights, he's got exceptional balance. Throws a flying knee, immediately lands in position to throw that high kick. Outstanding technique, gets that head off the center line, rolls the shoulder, really does a nice job minimizing the damage, and already fighting deeper into this fight than he has before in the UFC. Beautiful right hand to the body for Benson. So it looks like Thatch will see a second round for the first time in a long time. Good job, beautiful round. Take a seat, take a deep breath. Take a seat, take a deep breath. Hey, listen to me, that's a beautiful round, okay? You're hurting him to the body. You're hurting him to the body. Let's start touching him a little bit more, being a little more active, but relax the whole time, okay? Okay? Let's, let's bring that speed up, power down, right? You don't need to hulk everything. So fast hands, then finish with the power, right? So find it first. If you even touch that, you gotta go, we gotta go body. forward. All his advantage to is that the body, follow up. I need more clinch, I want you to wrestle him up a little bit. You hear me? Coach. Put him on his back, okay? Check hooks there, open there, put him on his back. Okay, give him one takedown, that's it. Stay, stay busy. We're gonna work that jab, we're gonna set up those kicks. Set up gotta go forward, Jim, gotta go forward. Fox Sports 1 UFC Fight Night Henderson versus Thatch is sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. So the message in the corner of Brandon Thatch, Brian, speed up, power down. Yeah, smart advice there from his striking coach Christian Allen. Doesn't want him to load up on all these strikes, knows this could be a long night. And in the corner, Benson Henderson, John Crouch, echoed what he told me a couple of days ago. He wants Ben Henderson to wrestle this guy up, get inside, move forward, stop retreating. Get inside of the body lock and take this kid down, where John Crouch believes Ben Henderson has a big advantage. Again, easier said than done when you got to wade through that tornado of strikes that is Brandon Thatch. Certainly Henderson Ooh. trying to close the distance in round two early. And Thatch just misses, almost gave Benson Henderson a haircut with that knee. <laughs> Henderson's tried ducking under the strikes at Thatch a couple times, but not able to lock his hands up into that clinch. Fast shot. There we go, coach. 
Come on, touch. Touch. When he leads like that, follow up. Follow up when he leans. If he's too far, go low. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm get lazy, you guys. Total strikes, 30 to 20 in favor of the former UFC lightweight champion. Surprising statistic there. Maybe that's just for this round so far. You know, really hard to get off your best shots, your most powerful shots when you're walking backwards. Even more difficult to put together combinations. It's forcing Ben to leap forward after retreating from the pressure of Brandon Thatcher. He lands a nice straight right there and switches to a southpaw stance. Looked like Fetch may have wrapped his right foot around the defense of Benson Henderson and maybe caught him a little bit, but he definitely lands that spinning back kick. Yeah, the spinning heel kick lands to the body of Benson Henderson. Thatch does keep his hands relatively low as he's pressuring Ben Henderson. May open himself up for a counter right hook from Ben Henderson as he pressures. Nice jab there by Thatch, but it appears that Thatch really bringing out the best in Benson Henderson, at least in terms of the output and the aggression. Thatch with a left cross there. Yeah, when you get ultra-aggressive guys like Thatch, they force counterfighters like Benson Henderson to have to use more volume. Nice jab there from Benson. Anderson on the uppercut there. Thatch moving forward, lands to the body. Don't forget Fox Sports Live immediately following UFC Fight Night here on Fox Sports 1. Man, nice use of the reach there from Brandon Thatch. He actually grabbed the wrist of Benson Henderson, pulled it down, and landed a straight right hand. The body strikes significant on both sides. Henderson outlanding Thatch barely 14 to 10. by Thatch. Henderson wisely spins out of harm's way. Huge round so far for Thatch. And his wrestling coach, Leister Bowling, said, you know, while you haven't seen it in the UFC, Thatch actually has very good takedowns in his opinion. He said, you probably won't see him against Henderson, but he will pull him out eventually. He said, this kid can wrestle. And he's also got a very good sprawl, but right now, it is all about the Thatch offense. Oh. Outstanding. He used the right hook to disguise the trip and actually push Henderson down. Brandon Thatch using his reach advantage to the fullest right now. And wants no part of the canvas with Benson Henderson. Under 30 seconds to go in an action back round two. And that lead uppercut straight left has been Benson Henderson's best combination throughout his career. He landed it flush there a second ago. Hey, Joe Riggs said in the corner, Benson Henderson, you've got to give me at least one takedown this round. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Henderson just misses on the uppercut there. So a big second round for the favorite, Brandon Thatch. No. Slow your breath down. And through your nose. Just start again. Just start again. Huh? Hey, we gotta stop letting him push us back. All of his advantages are coming there. We gotta push forward. If you're gonna shoot, I need you to mean it, okay? Listen, you should double step on the way out, okay? Get tall. Double step on the way out. Look for the counters. So, right? Deep breath again. Recover. Right now. Touch. We're touching, right? Bicycle. Take a drink. Hey, we need to make sure we're starting by just touch, 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 okay?
And here's one of the trips that Thatcher's able to score against Benson Henderson. Excellent technique here, and this is really going to make Benson Henderson question closing the distance when you pull off techniques like this. Just goes to show the eternal student that Brandon Thatch is. His coaches describe him as a yes sir guy. Everything they tell him, he absorbs like a sponge. Third round of a possible five here in our welterweight main event. John Crouch, chief corner for Ooh. Benson Henderson, set in between rounds. Ben, if you're going to shoot, I need you to mean it. Even if Henderson just ducks down for a single leg, he could try to use that to come up to his favorite takedowns, which are body locks. Oh, but a nice high kick there from Ben Henderson. Followed up by a right hook, both landed. And now settling in with that jab. So Benson Henderson with a strong start here in round three. Still being forced to retreat, which John Crouch was adamant about to stop doing. He wants him moving forward, but it's tough. I mean, there is a tremendous size difference here. Brandon Thatch looks like he could be a middleweight. Hey, That's your Viking right there! Set up those kicks! Here you go, boys! Stay busy, you move forward, you're good! They don't get nothing for you! Henderson changes level. You see excellent hips there from Brandon Thatch. He easily defended that takedown attempt and just continues to pour volume on Benson Henderson. Henderson, though, ready for the trip attempt there. Now a takedown attempt with some conviction for Henderson. But Thatch with a sprawl. You know, good technique, but ultimately with Thatch as being is just a bigger, stronger dude right now. Henderson's in deep now. He may have his hands locked behind the hips of Thatch. This is his best opportunity to get him down. Very Beautifully nice. done by Henderson there. Thatch gives up his back, surprisingly. Well, you see a mouse under the right eye of Brandon Thatch. But now dealing with perhaps his biggest adversity in the fight, a dominant position here for Henderson. This was the biggest fear of Coach Elliott Marshall for Brandon Thatch. He did not want him to get tied up in this position. He believes Benson Henderson is a high-level black belt. Now he's got the arm trapped. Thatch smartly gets it free. Seven career wins by submission for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Henderson. Three of them by rear naked choke. Ben's being very patient here. We'll see if he uses his back position to possibly scramble and get top. Big swelling under the right eye of Brandon Thatch. And some big deep breaths as well. As we approach the two minute mark in round three, what a fight this has been. It's smart here for Benson Henderson to take his time. If he tries to initiate a scramble too early, the bigger, stronger guy may get right back to his feet. Henderson's got a sense he's behind on the scorecards, and if he can dominate this position for the rest of this round, he can pull out round three. Possibly. Thatch maintaining a grip on the wrists of Benson Henderson. Now lets the left wrist go. And now Henderson with the body lock. And that body lock is miserable. It makes it very hard to breathe. Especially when you're carrying the other man's weight here. Benson Henderson continuing to apply pressure. Mixes in an elbow there. A compromising situation for Brandon Thatch. Solid defense so far, though, from Thatch. Yes. He definitely made Benson Henderson have to work for that takedown. That did not come easy. Could be a reason why Benson was so patient here once he got the back because he was catching his breath. And you do have to monitor the cardio of Brandon Thatch. Obviously, most of his professional fights have been short inside of a round. Returning for the first time in 15 months and scheduled for five here tonight. It has been many years, several years since Brandon Thatch has gone past the first round. An armbar attempt here from him, he might have it. Oh, easily ruled out by Brandon Thatch. So risk reward, Henderson goes for the armbar. It allows Thatch to get back to his feet. And you 
can't hear a thing in here. So big third round for Benson Henderson as he answers Thatcher's round two. Hey, take water. He's working on your eye. Relax. Relax. Good job. Excellent. Hey, way to relax. Way to relax. Listen to me. Avoid the wrestling exchanges. Don't clinch unless you're throwing a knee and circling out. Okay? The only time we're wrestling is to throw a knee, circle out. That's all we're doing. Deep breath, Deep breath baby. Hey, two more rounds, baby. You're champion, right? Stay Championship rounds. Speed. Let's get it. Stay with that speed. And that round was all you, all you. Okay, you know what you're, you're, the, 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 the He's stepping in. Needs to be one to drop. Take him down He's stepping in hard. Hit the elbow, okay? Yes, and then yes, when yes. you get in that little clinch, let's go to the double off the clinch, okay? Power, let's go, let's go. Look at his... Championship rounds, we are ready for round four. Brandon Thatch, swelling under both eyes. Perhaps it was a forearm from Benson Henderson in that third round that caused the swelling under that right eye. It appeared as such. Look at Thatch just slipped the jab but caught the forearm. Benson Henderson's corner wants him to get in the clinch and immediately go to that double and get it back to the mat. Benson Anderson was definitely the fresher guy getting off the stool here at the beginning of round four. No doubt about it. And Leister Bowling said to his pupil, Brandon Thatch, only wrestle to throw a knee and then circle out. And smart advice, and they really want Thatch to just touch him, focus on speed, but he eats a big left hand there from Henderson. And you see the confidence rising for the former UFC champion. This is where that, that experience comes into play. Benson Anderson's been in so many close fights, so many five-rounders. Well, 12 UFC fights coming in, average fight time of over 17 minutes. The fourth longest in UFC history. These body shots that Henderson's landing are starting to add up. Outstanding head movement there from Thatch. Anderson committed to the single here. Bows out now. And you can see that's where the size difference comes into yeah. play. That was easily defended by Thatch, who throws a big right elbow there. Just misses the face of Ben Henderson. Oh! Wow! That knee bounced right off the forehead of Henderson. And then Henderson follows up with a big right hand to the midsection of Brandon Thatch. Back and forth we go. Main event living up to the height, perhaps exceeding it tonight in Broomfield. Oh, Big and left. A nice combination land there from Thatch, who was actually polite a moment ago and allowed Henderson a chance to adjust his hair. Thatch starting to find his range and connect once again. Hey, it looks like he's really starting to get his second win. You know, when you're not used to being here, you get really tired, your lungs are burning, but you could settle into that and keep going. Oh, oh, beautiful job. Set up perfectly by a combination. Benson Henderson changes levels. That's championship level experience there. The former lightweight champion. And half a round with which to work. Henderson beautifully passes to side control. With ease. Thatch going to be careful. He's going to give up his back again. Big mistakes by Brandon Thatch. So now Thatch finding himself in a similar predicament that he found himself in in round three. Two minutes to go in round four. It looked like he was winning this round. Thatch has got to have a sense of urgency here to try and get back to his feet. He scrambles, but it's Ben Henderson who stays on top. Ben's going to trap the wrist with his right arm. Henderson pounding away now and follows up with a knee to the body. And he's got Thatch opened up badly from his nose. 
He's going to put pressure on that left knee at Thatch and get him back down on the floor. Very nicely done there by Benson Henderson. So Benson Henderson taking over this fourth round now. Had some naysayers coming in here tonight. Man, as he steps up. Oh, he may have this. He, he may have, have this. Under the chin. Thatch is wincing. There's the That's tag. It. Benson Henderson does it. He comes into Broomfield and wins his UFC welterweight debut. How about it? Smooth Benson Henderson. I have seen few things like it before. The plus 140 underdog comes in and silences the Colorado masses tonight. A championship effort from the former lightweight king. The move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS Nationwide 4 GLTE, riding on the T-Mobile network for $50 period. He struggled to close the distance early on, but he persevered, found a way, made the adjustments, gets the fight to the floor, and Thatch gave up his back easily, and this was the result of that. Benson Henderson is an outstanding grappler, and he gets the finish in one of the biggest momentum shifts I've ever seen in the octagon. Outstanding technique. The minute Thatch lifted his chin, Benson Henderson was all over him and sunk in the finish. Fantastic. All right, let us know if you think that's the best move of the night. The hashtag is Metro Move, and tune into Fox Sports Live after Fight Night for the winning move. All right, we will be back with the official decision, an interview with both fighters and post-fight coverage on Fox Sports Live, which starts right after the break. Stay with us. We are live on Fox Sports One. All right, let's go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 58 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Smooth Benson Henderson! One of the most inspiring performances I have ever seen inside of this octagon. Benson Henderson, you move up to welterweight a month after your last fight and get it done here tonight and get the finish. Congratulations. What's going through your head right now? I'm kind of tired, guys. I'm kind of tired. Whoa. Elevation, right? Hey, sometimes, guys, you got to go out there. You got to give your all. You got to test yourself. I didn't know I could win this fight. A lot of times, guys, you have to do something you don't know. Our biggest fear is not that we are, you know, inadequate. Our biggest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Remember that, guys, you know? Brandon Thatch has been such a destructive force. Obviously, he owns this building. You came in, silenced this crowd here tonight. How did the fight go down relative to your expectations coming I don't, in? I don't think I really saw